Hey, I'm Diane Neubauer. This is the space I use when I'm teaching classes online. And someone asked me recently, what's the setup like? Can I show some photos? I thought a video would be better. Um, so this is the corner where I stand. I have a window which can present some problems with glare at times. So I always have the drapes closed if it's daytime. And um, then let's see what the features are here. So I have this whiteboard on the wall which is actually a big roll of um, removable, kind of like wallpaper that's made to be whiteboard surface. So I got that for this year. The other thing I have for whiteboard is underneath that green screen, which I'll show you in a minute. So I found it easier to have things up here right near the whiteboard. So I have a marker and the eraser right there. Um, you could see a little bit of the glare here from the window that's across there. <sighs> yeah. I don't know if my room will ever have a place where there's not a glare because I have this lamp on the wall which shines on the whiteboard that's under that green fabric. And then the window shines over this way um, so it's not perfectly great. Um, this other little lamp there is kind of helpful. It, you want an even lighting on a green screen or it'll pick up part of the green and maybe some part is so dark it won't use that as if it's green screen. So you do need to be careful a bit. This really great standing desk has been wonderful. It has wheels, so I can wheel it around during class. Um, I called up an older video, actually a recent video from an online class. So that's kind of like what my view would be during class. Of course, there'd be live video, people moving. And I can see my own video window, which used to freak me out and now I'm used to it. And now I use it because I wanna see what's in view for them. So it's really important for me to do. And now I can be kind of like one of those green screen things that weathermen use or weather broadcasters use. And they underline and they point to things on this imaginary map that's not really visible except on their, com their screen. So I kind of have that effect with my own view of myself. Um, and then, of course, I'm looking for people's responses facially as well as verbally. They, they're talking. So when I'm teaching, I do have headphones, which I've attached here. These are really cheap ones. They were like $7, I think. Um, and they seem to be working well. There is a microphone on it, um, but I found also my computer microphone that's built in is perfectly adequate. This is a ThinkPad, fairly newish, not extremely top of the line, but but. This is the nicest computer I've had in a while. So that's been helpful. I do have this little lapel mic that I bought thinking that I was gonna need something that was better. Um, and it, it just doesn't do anything different than this computer can do without a special plug-in. So when I make read-along videos, I use just the, the straight up built-in mic on my computer. Okay, so let's look at the green screen. I use this with Zoom. So up at the top there, you can see the clips. Those are removable clips. I forget what to call those. I think it's by 3M where they have a little pull tag that you can pull down. So this clips up. I just kind of wad up the fabric a little bit at the top and clip it up there. And it's easy to remove it. Um, so if I want more whiteboard space, I've got this one that's been up on the wall for a while. You can see though this one is particularly prone to glare from that lamp. Now really what I wanna do with lamps is hang one from up there in that beam in the ceiling. Um, that would be ideal. And then it can shine the light right on the green screen when that green screen's up. And I don't have to turn on the lamp that has produced that glare right there. Um, still gonna be a little bit of an issue over here with the window, but that glare isn't so bad that it blocks the writing completely out of view of, of the class. So um, we got the whiteboard writing on it, dealing with lighting is an issue. Having a way to hang up your green screen that is flexible is really nice. Um, this fabric that I bought was like $4 at Walmart pre-cut. Um, and I, I just looked online, I said green screen fabric color and did an image search. And, I, and I, then I thought, okay, this looks like a close enough color. And sure enough, there you go. So it's flexible. Um, let's look at things in my desk. I always have something to drink, um, a timer. Sometimes that's helpful to 
make sure I give brain breaks if I'm with a group that really asks for that kind of thing, just a little pause to check in with them. I keep some little props down here and things like a chart of colors that I can quick grab and refer to or some words that are really useful in Chinese that I can start using right away with people even when they're a beginner and I have that ready to go. I don't have to write it on the board. Um, I've also played some things with green screen using this bag that I got at Actful a couple of years ago. So it just happens to be the right color of green and when I wad it up um, it's pretty fun to play with as a green screen and then you can bring it in close to the camera and show everything on the green screen or you can just show a little piece of it. So I have a video also about that. So I think that's pretty much it.